Welcome back guys to another video. Let's talk about workhorse stock. Currently it's up 1.27% and in the past week it's doing pretty well. It's up about 12% and there's not really that much news about the company. There just isn't any news about orders. There's no news about USPS contract, but hey, shares are going up after being at an all time low of $15. It's now at $23. So there's a lot of growth. If you guys actually bought the dip for workhorse here, congratulations. Because right now there seems to be a lot of hype around the EV industry. You may be wondering, since Workhorse isn't really getting that much news this week, why is the share price up 12%? There's two main catalysts. One of them is Lordstown Motors or AKA Ride, R-I-D-E. This stock is up 56%. And the reason why I'm addressing this is because Workhorse owns 10% of Lordstown Motors. And when Lordstown Motors goes up, well, Workhorse goes up as well. It's kind of funny that the company that they're invested in is worth like tr twice the market cap. It's just kind of funny, but of course, Lordstown Motors, they make everyday vehicles. They're trying to make this like commercial truck, which everyday consumers could use, like let's say on a farm or a construction area. So a lot of people are ordering Lordstown Motors trucks, and because of these massive orders, share prices are going up. But Workhorse, they're not really getting any major orders. Sure, Picard companies, during earnings call, they did order 500 trucks of the C1000 from Workhorse, which right now it's keeping them pretty busy. But other than that, there's just really not much stimulation. But there is someone out there that is saying that Workhorse is definitely gonna be surging up. You got RF Lafferty Analyst setting a price target of $29. And that seems pretty modest, honestly, especially how Workhorse actually hovered at around this area price tag for quite some time. And $29 isn't that unrealistic, especially when you're trying to you know, rate the stock before the official earnings events and also the official USPS contract event. I feel like Workhorse has definitely hit $29. That I also agree with that, maybe even $30. But of course, anything above 30 will be very difficult, especially right now, this current moment, everyone is waiting for a Workhorse to get this $8.1 billion USPS contract. So those are the two biggest catalysts this week. Pretty much Lordstown Motors going up 56% and Workhorse owns 10% of Lordstown Motors. And also you do have RF Lafferty giving it a pretty decent price tag of $29. And also ARK Invest is also pretty interested in other smaller hedge funds and even big hedge funds out there holding some position of Workhorse just to see what's up. The vehicles are pretty nice, all right. Workhorse is getting some competition around the corner especially recently you do have Arrival. Arrival is another electric car company, but they mo mostly focus on electric buses and they also focus on the vans. So these vans are pretty much cargo vans and they also have an even smaller cargo van. So this is becoming a pretty big threat to Workhorse, but hey, one big thing about Workhorse that has over its competition is they already have factories. If you wanna get a electric delivery van today, you can pretty much call it Workhorse and they'll give you a van as soon as they can. They have a factory. At this current moment, they're not really making that many cars per month. But they want to hit 100 vehicles per month and then 200, maybe even 300 vehicles per month in 2021. They're working with Hitachi as best they can to scale up the best they can and to sell as many cars as possible. Currently, a lot of people do not want to work with Workhorse, not because they have bad cars, but because it's gonna take a very long time for them to scale up. But if Workhorse could prove to consumers that, hey, we could make 200, 300 vehicles per month, you could easily order 200, 300 vehicles, we could give it to you in less than 30 days, that seems super appealing. And current moment, I really feel like these price target increases really do help the overall company. On top of that, you do have a rival, sure, they have a 10,000 vehicle order from UPS, but they don't have a factory yet. And they won't be making these cars for the next couple of years which if Workhorse could scale up even more in the next couple of years, they could become the leading company in the last mall EV area. And you also have the 2022 Ford E Transit vehicle. It's another electric van that holds cargo, but it's 2022, it wouldn't be out in a year or two. So once again, these two vehicles are getting a lot of hype and these are pretty big dangers to Workhorse. But one big thing that they don't have is a factory. Currently, these two video vehicles are still under like development. They're still trying to polish things up. There's no factory, so they're not making these. There's no sales of these vehicles, whereas Workhorse has sales, and maybe in the next couple of years, their factories will be growing even bigger than ever before. Now, keep in mind that another big thing about the arrival van and also the e-transit by Ford is these are fairly smaller cars. 
Usually, you can't really fit much into them. Sure, they're cargo vans, and they would definitely be hurting the business of the C650 truck, but the C1000 truck will still be in very high demand since this is a larger electric vehicle. This is why Picard companies, when they announced that they will be ordering 500 vans from Workhorse, it wasn't the C650, it was a C1000. So Workhorse has this major advantage, which is at this current moment, they have factories, an upcoming possible deal for the United States Postal Service, and also the C1000 truck, which is pretty incredible. So I feel like the stock should be going up, especially with a fifth of the shares being shorted, if Workhorse does get the USPS contract, well, they're going to be getting a lot of increase in the sales and also huge increases in the share price. Since the USPS contract is like, what, $8.1 billion? It's nearly three to four times bigger than the current market cap of Workhorse. And best of all, they also have a massive stake in Lordstown Motors, which I also really like because Lordstown Motors will be producing and delivering their first vehicles at roughly quarter two quarter three of 2021 and they will scale up even more next year around quarter four so lordstown motors doing so well with pretty phenomenal pre-orders and sales coming up workhorse will also benefit from that since workhorse owns 10 percent lordstown motors and fun fact every vehicle that lordstown motors sells at this current moment they will get some profit so that's actually really really awesome at this current moment workhorse stock it's fairly calm it's slow and steady growth Honestly, if you guys want to play short term with Workhorse, I highly recommend playing the route prior to the USPS contract. Since there is not much news, you slowly have more investors piling into the overall company. A lot of people just simply put a few hundred dollars, a few thousand dollars into Workhorse every single day, slowly in anticipation to the USPS contract. And once again, I've said this multiple times in my videos that let's say for example, earnings, always play the run up for earnings and sell before earnings. If USPS contract announces that, hey, next week we will be announcing winner, Workhorse stock will absolutely surge up. If you check out history of Workhorse, you'll clearly see right here, October 8th to October 12th, massive surges in the stock because Roth Capital said that the USPS contract will be announced on the 13th, but of course it wasn't and the share prices absolutely dropped. And it wasn't a fun time, especially investors poured a bunch of money in and eventually share prices still dropped. Overall, I feel like Workhorse is a very decent company. Definitely play the run up. I feel like it's pretty good, especially in the past several weeks. It's always been having like a few percentages every single day. So a lot of people who buy calls on the very bottom, you guys are making a ton of money. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. How do you guys feel about Workhorse? I think it's a pretty decent company. I think it could definitely still go up. But of course, the biggest catalyst right now is the USPS contract. Then again, if they don't get it, Share prices will fall in the short term, but they should be having a slow and steady climb up. And once again, they sell some pretty phenomenal last mile logistics vehicles and Workhorse business model is pretty phenomenal. They're focusing on the factory, which is the most important aspect. Thanks for watching guys and comment below.